here. Joining us now is a family friend of the Bockers, Katie Corcoran. Katie, good morning. Thank you for being with us in a time we know is difficult for you, your community, and this family that you're so close with. Good morning. Thank you for having me. Tell us a little bit about uh, your interactions with this family with since this, family. this unfortunate situation. Um, how is everybody doing and what can you tell us about their current status and conditions? Um, they're staying strong right now. Um, they are at the hospital. Um, you know, it's just, just a very hard emotional time right now. And, um, you know, we're just sending our thoughts and prayers to the family and um, it's just very difficult right now. Yeah, Katie, what are you trying to focus on right now to help this family? Um, so I had started um, a fundraiser for Sarah and her family on my Facebook page. Um, and right now we have reached over $43,000. That's amazing. Obviously, you anticipate and would like to see those donations climb even higher. And I understand there's another effort underway, uh, not just uh, for the people involved here, but to try to bring comfort to this family as well, you're asking for the community's help and keeping an eye out for somebody. Yes, um, her, we had, uh, she had three dogs. Um, we found um, two of them. We are still looking for her, um, uh, one of her puppies, Charlie. He is still out there. Um, and I mean, the community is so amazing. I mean, since the tragedy has happened, I mean, we have all been out there looking for him and you know we found um the other dogs and now we're just still looking for charlie so we hope that we can find him and if anybody wants to come out and help us i mean we'll take all the help we can get all right katie take us back to where you were when you first found out about what happened here um i was actually home when i got the phone call from sarah herself and what, what did she say? How do you even describe something like this? How do you contextualize I, what just happened? <laughs> yeah, I didn't even process it. All I know is I just grabbed my clothing for her and I went down to the hospital immediately. <laughs> Have you had the opportunity to get over to the scene of this accident? Um, you know, we were speaking with the county executive uh, who was just blown away by really what he saw here. Uh, have you made your way in that direction yet? Yes, I've been there um, the day of the accident. I was over there, and I was over there yesterday um, searching for all of the family's um, pets. What can you tell us? What was your initial reaction just coming upon that scene? Uh, disbelief. Um, my heart broke. Um, it's just so upsetting, and I just really have no words. But the community... I can't thank the people of the community. I mean, they're just amazing, and none of this would be possible without any of these people. Like, any of the donations or finding any of her pets, and it, this is just community coming together, and that's, that's what this is about. We all you know, at the end of the day, we all need each other. All right, Katie Corcoran, thank you so much for joining us and leaving us on an inspirational note. Our, our hearts are definitely with you and that community and the family that lost their loved ones there. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you so much.